What is up you guys, this is the Lone Wolf back and I'm bringing you another childhood story. Now for this story, it's a bit, it's a bit wacky and <laughs> it's a little funny and it's also kind of serious. Um, in this childhood story, it also, also Darius is in this story too. Um, I actually have a lot of stories with me and Darius when we were kids, mainly because um, I grew up with Darius pretty much. Um, We've been kids, we've been friends since we were when we was uh, little kids. Um, I moved in that apartment across the street from him when I was, I don't know, I mean at least nine or eight. But uh, anyway, let's get on with the, uh, the story that I have for you today. So this story involves me getting caught by the police. Well, someone called the police. And it also involves some sex. What do I mean by sex is I'll get into it later in the video. But anyway, let's get on with the main thing here, the police. So, um, uh, I had a friend named Paul and a friend named Kason. Now, this was a while, while back. And um, at the apartment complex that I lived at, there was a park. And this park, you know, had pretty much a slide and a swing set. And that was it. Well, behind this park was a fence, and behind the fence was a, an abandoned um, Ohio State Buckeyes bus, in which we um, ended up throwing rocks at. And we threw, I don't know why, I think i think it was maybe Paul. He's like, hey dude, let's throw some rocks at this bus. I was like, okay. And so we just grabbed a bunch of rocks and started throwing at the bus. And I don't know who it was, I think it might have been Paul. It was either Paul or me. One of us threw the rock, and lucky us, it went right through the window. It straight went through the window, and bam, hit the homeless guy in the eye. So he comes rushing out of this bus like, God damn it, you little motherfuckers. I'm going to call the goddamn police. So <laughs> as soon as that happened, I literally, I booked it. I ran as fast as I could, and my dumb ass as a kid, Everyone else, they <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just picturing this all in my head again. All my friends, they literally took off back to the house. And you know what I did? I hid behind the slide. <laughs> I straight up hid behind the slide. And he didn't see me. He did not see me at all. Now, how the homeless guy knew our names was a whole different story. I'm not sure how he knew our names. It was pretty odd and weird. But anyway, um, after all this happened, the cops actually came a little bit after that. And, you know, shit went down. The cops were actually looking for us. I actually never, the co I actually never spoke to the police that night. I don't know what happened. They must have, like, gave up. You know, we were kids just messing around, having fun. They must have just gave up on it, and they must have just left. I don't know if they, they might have got a hold of Paul and Kaysen. I'm not sure. But I know I was in the clear because I made it home that night but uh, anyway after this whole thing went down I, while the police were looking for the stuff I ran into Darius and <clears throat> um, we were messing around at the park you know just walking around having fun as kids and we're walking and this night just got wackier little did I know this night was gonna get wackier um, we was walking and you know, there's a little ditch or creek, whatever you can call it, up by the park. And we was walking by this ditch and creek, and we hear something. We hear a little bit of moaning and stuff. So we look to our right, and there's two drunk teenagers on the creek making out, getting ready to have sex. And at the time, Darius just got back from camp, so he had this little flute on him. I was like, dude, we gotta fuck with these teenagers. We gotta fuck with them, man. This is, a, this is a this is a sign. We have to do it. The gods above are calling. A, this is a sign, dude. This has to be. So he brings out this flute, and I have some rocks, and he has the flute. So we're okay. So we turn around, we get a good running start, and we're running towards the teenagers, not towards their direction, but around that general area. And Darius was playing the Hogwarts, the Harry Potter theme song with his flute or whistle thing. And as he was doing that, I was throwing rocks to the teenagers, and they were like, they were so drunk, they got, they didn't even care. They just kept doing what they were doing, and we were just fucking laughing our ass off. 
you know, we were kids, we didn't understand that. It was just so funny, you know? Just fucking with the teenagers, I thought it was funny. Anyway, that's today's childhood story. I got plenty and plenty and plenty more where that came from. Um, go ahead and drop a like for <laughs> playing the, the Harry Potter theme song. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.